welcome to my opinion here and my opinion tv don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified and this mark and today we want to talk about an incident that took place in clarendon and according to the jamaica gleaner it says the community of Havana heights in clarendon has been jolted by a quadruple murder early this morning the four were killed shortly after midnight they are 32 year old tashana white her 25 year old sister sharona white their 19 year old nephew luke newman and sharona's partner 27 year old michael solomon residents reported hearing loud explosions in the air at about 12 a.m and summoned the police the four had been shot in their heads and torsos they were taken to the Mapin hospital where the sisters and the neighbors were pronounced dead solomon succumbed to his injuries while undergoing treatment police sources theorize that the attack is a reprisal against a relative who they believe was intended target the police have since ramped up their presence in the area to prevent further incidents Havana heights is in an area of concern in the clarendon police division recording several violent crimes including murder shooting and gang related activities now here we are another situation another day another story when it's not double murder it's quadruple murder it's triple murder it seems as if this is a never-ending story in jamaica when it's not kingston it's saint james when it's not saint james it's hanover when it's not hanover it's saint catherine it's all over the country and it's contaminating the place and what is so funny about these situations is that when the police do their investigations and find out the perpetrators behind these crimes most if not all the times teenagers are the main, the main suspect we can't have a country where persons are not even certain of going to going to their bed and waking up in the morning because their doors will be kicked down and they'll be killed all of four family members murdered one time in clarendon what is our country coming to can you i i read recently there was a double murder in clarendon recently we, we heard about a little boy who was killed in the york heights the york um district in clarendon clarendon infiltrated by gangsters and what has made clarendon so easy to be infiltrated we have the bypass that leads from spanish town that comes to clarendon it's simple pickings if you remember the teacher was killed down there in clarendon and when she was killed that our baggage was found on the highway leading to spanish town so it's an easy getaway route for these criminals and they consistently do these things now with all of four persons being murdered in clarendon we wonder what will become of the story we wonder someone somewhere must know the perpetrators and let me tell you if you're a family if you have a family member that is involved in violence please you have to find a way out because guess what these woodlums if they can't get their, your family member who is involved they are going to get you now we are hearing that these persons were not necessarily involved but they have a family member who the gangsters wanted and if from the gangsters want them and can't get them they're coming to send a message and the message that will be sent is that innocent lives won't be spared it's just a sad story and it seems as if every other day there's a story like this in jamaica what will law enforcement do what will the persons who sit in the house of parliament do as it relates to these it is getting out of control no more persons are not scared of the corona even in this corona time persons are not scared crime consistently go up the, the prime minister has put in measures in place to have no movements day and persons are still being killed so we wonder what will happen what will cause this disease the legislations have to put, be put in place and as we said the, the the hanging is still on the books in jamaica it is not being practiced all because a lot of noise being made by these human rights groups but when persons have been losing their lives like uh, on this rate in jamaica what more can we do well your guess is as good as mine we hope that the perpetrators of this heinous crime these criminals went into Havana Heights in Clarendon and slaughtered four persons in execution style because they were all shot in their head and their torso. 
So it clearly is an execution style of murder. They must be brought to book. They must pay the full penalty. And we don't want anybody to go to court and plead guilty and then their sentence be slashed into half. We need persons to face the death row. That is what we need at this point. And we have persons in Jamaica who are willing to volunteer to, to, to set up the hangman noose to get these persons out of society. They are infiltrating the society and cre creating mayhem. It must stop. Well, let's see if anybody will have the political will, the political balls to stop, to put legislation in place to fight these hoodlums. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Until next time, look out for the children. Look out for a neighbor, look out for a loved one. And most of all, keep it locked on My Opinion TV.